This is a Mead ETX uh, 90 and the mount is the what they call as a RA or EC I've seen the names used for it. I bought the mount separate it works. Uh, it doesn't have a go-to it has a clock drive and you install it on this uh, tabletop tripod and the clock drive uh, will uh, turn it like a face of a and the hands of a clock the telescope in the direction of the earth rotation uh, or actually the opposite of it so the sky is turning from the east to west and it turns also the telescope from the east to west the direction of the this shorter leg here is the one uh, that actually pointing toward the Polaris, the North Star, so that practically works like an axis of the rotation, uh, like the rotation of the Earth, and uh, that way it works for you. Uh, I had bought the tube separate, it is for a later version of this telescope, and uh, that works. Uh, easy to install it in this one you have to use a uh, allen key to remove the uh, this uh, casing uh, um, allen uh, screws and then squeeze this inside just um, opening it slightly up and then squeezing this inside and it just fits easily and then you put back the screws uh, i have put one of these uh, um, knobs for reaching further from the uh, body of the uh, telescope so you can actually adjust it other than that this is this is exactly how it was the original one this is the original uh, midi tx which came into market in 1999 uh, or even earlier probably i think i saw these things earlier than that anyway they were in covers and the inside cover of magazines a lot and um, if you have those uh, issues you will know that uh, the good thing about this what i like is that it has a it's like almost like a mid uh, lx 200 unlike lx 900 that you just have to adjust either by this and then use the computer the hand control to turn it this one you can actually manually turn it this tightens up the axis here and then you can use this to move up and down the tube a similar knob exists here which you can use for the same purpose and um, good thing is that you have one knob here one knob that side for that one you have only one for this one you have two and also at the same time let me turn it uh, you have a locking mechanism here also and you can lock when you lock it that turns according to the rotation of the clock drive mechanism it takes three double uh, a batteries and uh, for reaching it there is a metal plate under it there are three screws I think holding it you remove those screws and the metal plate just comes off it's very heavy be careful it may fall on your feet that part of it that metal plate is heavy when you do that the all the clock drive mechanism is there and uh, like uh, other ETX it has a um, flip mirror mechanism for it makes you be able to use this back port of it for attaching uh, uh, for terrestrial viewing a diagonal 45 degree diagonal for using it as a spotted scope or if you have the right attachments uh, you have to use a male female attachment here then attach it to a several tubes then you can connect it to a camera uh, and that camera can be used you can use this uh, telescope etx as a 
as a telephoto lens. Uh, when you have the camera, you cannot really use it for astrophotography in a sense uh, of using this port. Everything I've just put this back. Okay, I'll put that back. Uh, because the camera will uh, catch with the body of the telescope mount. So you have to be careful about that. But when it is in this position, you can use any camera adapter for digital uh, photography uh, to the eyepiece. It holds around the eyepiece. And then you can just uh, take an image by looking at the lens. Uh, mobile phone cameras can do that easily. And when you turn the telescope toward the objective part, aperture opening, you can see that there is a metal uh, uh, cap, lens cap, that twists. I recommend do it horizontally so if there is any metal shredding, doesn't fall on your mirror and then hallelujah that's the mirror first you see the meniscus and the tiny uh, secondary mirror and then at the bottom at the end you can see that that's the actual mirror so this is a max set of design and uh, as you can see it has a diameter of 90 millimeter a focal length of uh, 1250 millimeter which means the F ratio of this telescope is 13.8. It's quite good for lunar and uh, planet uh, observation. The optics, as you can see in this specimen, is really clean and nice. I'll put it back because I want to show you uh, something about this tabletop mount. The tabletop mount comes with two legs for the polar alignment and that one. And uh, it's, uh, it's very complicated. You have to find the right manual for just to see how you can actually adjust that. Just to make it short is that this shorter leg is for 44 to 56 uh, degrees latitude. So there are two holes for this polar uh, leg. One is this one, which is for 44 to uh, uh, 56. And this other one is for uh, 57 to 70 something. Uh, or 60 something. Um, that's the latitude adjustment. For anything lower than that, you have the bigger leg that you have to use. So it will rise it more, so it will be... Uh, the polar alignment will be more this way. And when it is this way, because the telescope will practically, will have a, all the heavy side of the telescope will be this side, you need to have a weight this side. Then you have to at, uh, attach a weight to the longer leg. Uh, so it will not tip over like a seesaw. So for balancing it, you have to use it. For, for this one, we don't need that. In the UK, we are just using the smaller leg. Uh, we put a table for this. There is a little difficulty to find any anything about this, how to adjust it in the... In, uh, I never saw anything like that in the internet. Um, uh, to really dig into this and I found it and I will put it at the end of this video. How to adjust that. This is the plate I mentioned. You, you remove the three screws and this is a heavy metal plate. This is metal, this is plastic or thinner metal. This is metal. So when you remove these three screws, you can access the battery compartment. And then when you replace the batteries, you have to put this N and S, this uh, but, uh, this switch on the end. That's for Northern Hemisphere, so it turns uh, clockwise. In the Southern Hemisphere, it turns anti-clockwise. And then when you want to turn it on, it's off and on. You can turn it on and off. I will do it, but just listen. Uh, I don't want to run it like that because that is uh, actually having friction with the surface of the table. So that's the way you adjust this. Um, 
all in all is a nice little package that you can take with yourself everywhere this is at least the theory i never use this tabletop uh, arrangement of this i'm going to use it tonight uh, i've put it on a table the table is aluminium table camping table so it is lightweight it may be very wobbly but hey yeah i have to try it and see how it is i will get back and just tell what how it was how it feels is it practical can it keep the target in the field of view or no any movement will actually make it uh, you lose the target for uh, finder scope i'm using a regal uh, quick finder which i had a video about it how to adjust it in a way that i can put a elastic band around the tube and it just stays there this is a good version good uh, cheap version of a, a questor uh, as you know questor is a cold war era uh, product uh, they could sell it as a uh, plagiarized uh, communist <laughs> uh, equipment to the mod ministry of defense in america uh, but at a very high steep price it this one you can buy it now second hand 100 pounds 200 pound depending on how much it is in dollar anything between 100 to 300 dollar us dollar and uh questor is very expensive of course you have the you don't need a few viewfinder down here you have a mirror you can flip the mirror uh, on that back and this mirror secondary mirror gives you the view also you can rotate the uh, the whole uh, cell which holds a um, mirror main mirror so you can access the eyepiece from different positions in this one you cannot do it it's fixed uh, that is a nice design but it doesn't mean that it will be it can justify to sell it for you know more than uh, 10 times the value of this one the price of this one it was overpriced thing as we know uh, they do these kind of things because uh, they can they can sell it if they know somebody uh, in the MOD or anywhere and uh, at that prices they can they can sell it and uh, uh, just get away with it but in the in the real market the people don't buy this much uh, I mean the quest start quest or I have an example of it I will show you uh, if it was for example 200 pound or 300 dollar this ETX 90 the quest star cannot worth more than let me tell you 500 pound or around 600 650 dollar that's the price uh, if it is anything more than it doesn't worth to, to in my opinion uh, at the end of the day it's just a 90 millimeter telescope it's nothing more than that and what is important in astronomy users is that uh, the light grasp is the most important how much light you can actually collect how much fo photons of the light you can collect the bigger your aperture the bigger um, the amount of the light you can get into the mirror as i said i will i will show you how it is in the field uh, i have a feeling this will be very wobbly on the table that i have it's a camping table it's very lightweight but let's see how it is And as you can see, this is the way it looks when you put it on a table, if you are pointing it to the polaris. So roughly pointing to the polaris in this way. And I'm showing you from a different angle how it looks. Uh, it's now looking toward almost the 90 degree away from the um, polaris. The North Pole, North Celestial Pole, and practically looking toward the celestial equator. I must say, it's beautiful for display on a table or on a proper shelf. If you are into such things. Okay, this is a document that I mentioned. Uh, this is the details you need if you want to adjust a tabletop mount which holes it goes you can stop the video at any point and i'm coming segment by segment of the page to let you read all of that so 
uh, uh, stop anywhere that you want and enjoy the and read the uh, this document. So it's it's very rare to find this document. I I couldn't find anything. It didn't come with the, even the tabletop mount that I had. So that's rare.